So we have f of x equal to cosine x, uh, x1 is equal to 1.5, and we want to use Newton's method to find x sub 2 and x sub 3, so solution. The first thing we should do is write down the formula for Newton's method. So x sub n plus 1 is equal to x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by the derivative of f evaluated at x sub n. Now the way I remember the formula is the derivative just always goes in the bottom. It's pretty easy not to forget the minus and this is pretty easy to memorize but just remember the derivative goes on the bottom. Alright so in this problem f of x sub n is just the cosine of x sub n. Just replace x with x sub n and the derivative of cosine is negative sine x so here it's f prime of x sub n is negative sine of x sub n. And that's it. Now we're just going to plug everything back into our formula here. So x sub n plus 1. This is equal to x sub n minus uh, f of x sub n. It's a lot to say. That's just the cosine function. So cosine x sub n divided by the derivative, so this, so negative sine of x sub n. We have two negatives, so we're going to get a positive, so x sub n plus 1 is equal to x sub n plus cosine x sub n over sine of x sub n. All right, we're ready to go. We have the formula. Uh, all we have to do now is find x2 and x3. So x2 is equal to, uh, well, here n is equal to 1, right? And then 1 plus 1 is 2. That's how we get x2. So here n is 1, so we get x1 plus cosine of x1 over sine of x1. And x1 was 1.5, so this is 1.5 plus cosine 1.5 over sine of 1.5. Right, just replacing all the x1s with 1.5. If you put this in your calculator, make sure it's in radians, you end up with 1.5 seven zero nine I'm using four decimal places uh, throughout this video now we have x2 so that's x2 so now we can find x3 so x3 is 1.5709 right just plug it back in here right you plug this this is x2 you plug it back into the formula um, plus cosine 1.5709 over sine of 1.5709 and if you put this in your calculator make sure it's in radians you get 1.5708 and that's it that's x sub 3 so to recap whenever you're using Newton's method just write this down right take your derivative we did that here and clean it up and so here's our formula we have x1, so you just replace x sub n with x1 and work it out. We did that here. There's x sub 2. We replaced all the x1s with 1.5s. Put it in your calculator. Make sure you're in radians, otherwise you, uh, you'll get a different answer. And here's x sub 2. Once you have x sub 2, you plug it back into the formula. So here's x sub 2, x sub 2, x sub 2, and that will give you um, x sub 3. Really, really easy. It's just about knowing the formula and being careful. I hope this helps.